Good morning, my beautiful friends. It's a bins day. Can you see my breath? <sighs> it's sort of early on a Saturday morning. I'm driving to the Goodwill Outlet bins. If you're new here, my name's Quenby. I'm a part-time reseller, and I go to a place called the Goodwill Outlet bins. They have giant blue bins of clothing and other stuff, and I sift through, weigh the stuff, it's $3.49 a pound, and then I turn around and sell it on eBay and Poshmark for a profit. It's a really great side hustle. I've been doing it 12 years now. I don't love going to the bins on a Saturday morning because none of my reseller friends will be there. It gets a little more crowded with people that, you know, just go for fun. Oopsie! My giant Ikea bag. You guys all have this bag for your shipping. I do. There we go, some great footage there. And I always bring my Lululemon hip pack. It's really great to keep my credit card and my hand sanitizer and my chapstick and everything with me as we go. So I'll take you into the bins a little bit. And then of course I'll do a haul for you and we're gonna find some great brands. Maybe you'll learn some new brands or styles or things that help items sell on eBay. Let's go. Good morning, friends. You know that feeling when you just hit a good bin and it's like, Hello. Look at me with this enormous pile. I have in here a Reformation dress, I think. Oh my gosh, I'm afraid to look at it. I just have to tell you that it is super busy at the bins today. The busiest I've ever seen it. And I got off to kind of a slow start. Nothing crazy happening. So I've just been slowly picking, picking. And it's starting to add up. I saw this tag and was like, what? Oh major bolo right here and it looks like maybe a long dress so i better hide it <laughs> i don't have a real problem with people stealing carts out of my cart here um but i should also be smart this is a loft wool jacket i have some jay jill in here some levi's bunch of free people um some stuff i have to look up so off to a pretty good start. Um, yeah, the line to get in was crazy today. I'm gonna block these little kids, but it's it's pretty pretty busy. So happy you're here with me. We're gonna have so much fun. I'll check back in. I just want to show you these in case you are newer and just learning brands. Um, these are Aria. This is a super good brand in almost anything. And these are men's jeans. They're known for their western boots and western wear. But these have too much wear. Look at, they've been like repaired and everything. So passing on those, but wanted to let you know that that's a good um, item to find. And this is super, super exciting for me. Some of you will recognize this right away. I said, that looks like Lily Pulitzer. It's sheets in a pillowcase, and, oh, it's for somebody, exclusively for, what does that say, PB? PB teen? Um, I never find that here, just because I live in California. I've been talking to some of you in the comments, like you live in Florida and you find it all the time, but for me, that is so, such a rare find to find that brand, so it's always exciting. I have to pass on this, unfortunately, but this is a brand I find all the time and I really love. It's called Synergy Organic. I think it's made here in California, so I probably find it more. And it, it often looks the same with all this embroidery, but the elastic is shot on this one, so that one has to go back. All right, there, there's my go back. They're doing another rotation in a minute, so I have to go over there. All right, look at this cart. I haven't done any sorting. They've only done one rotation. This is when I get out my big Ikea bag and I start sorting through what I'm putting back and what I'm gonna take for sure. We'll go in here, oh my God. This is not, the bin's life is not pretty, okay? It's like all over mess sort of situation. But let's start. I hope I found some good stuff in here. Okay friends, we are jumping right into this haul part of the video. It's been a day. I was at the bins for a few hours. Then I met my partner, Petey, for a delicious brunch, and we took a walk around the neighborhood over there. It's a beautiful fall day, like blue sky, you know, 
gorgeous fall day. So let's get into this haul. It was a solid day at the bins. Lots of good bread and butter like this item and a few items that I know will sell for a lot more. Okay, this is Chico's and it's a size three. This is a mall brand, kind of a mature women's brand. I like picking it up in the bigger sizes. A three is like an XL. And this is a really pretty tunic. White and blue, my favorite kind of turquoise V-neck cotton pullover. Yes, please, love it. This is a cashmere sweater. I'm so happy to find cashmere sweaters and it happens to be my favorite brand. Free People. It's an extra small, that little bar says free people on it. And this is kind of a boxy cropped fuchsia colored sweater. It's very wide at the chest with kind of a balloon sleeve. Needs a little deep pilling as most cashmere sweaters do, but thank you very much for that. I'll take it. This is such a good brand and I did not know how good it was until recently. I've always picked up this brand, it's James Purse. I don't find it all that often, but memorize that tag. And if you don't know the brand, that's a very simple, unassuming tag. I wouldn't look at that and go, wow, that looks like something good. Well, I recently found a pair of uh, jogger pants by this brand, James Purse. And I couldn't tell if they were men's or women's. They had deep pockets, but they had narrow legs. So I go on their site and I'm like, oh my God, joggers by the brand James Purse sell for $395 on their site. I mean, the resale on it is probably gonna be like 40, but still, this is a card cardigan sweater, a black kind of ribbed chunky knit cardigan sweater by a good brand to keep your eye out for. Here's some good bread and butter. It's Torrid, which is a plus size brand at the mall. It's kind of expensive for the mall. And this is a four, which is a four X. So that's fantastic. An animal print pop over top. It doesn't button all the way down. It just buttons like a quarter way. So we call that a pop over. More free people. Yes, this makes me so happy. Not everything sells for high money in free people. Some of it does. I recently sold a free people jacket for $150. I sold a free people oversized fisherman type sweater for $54. And then a lot of it really just goes for like 15, 20 bucks plus shipping, but I still love it. That same Free People bar tag there. And these are some kind of a paper bag waist. Usually it has a belt if it's a paper bag waist, but sort of an olive green tapered leg cargo pant. I'll put Bohemian Boho in my title. This is a brand, it's bread and butter for me. I find it all the time. Hot Cotton by Mark Ware, made in the USA. They make linen, boxy tops, kind of lagging look boho stuff. This is just a pair of pull on elastic waist pants, but that brand is just a consistent $20, $25 flip for me. These are Pilcrow, which is sold at Anthropology. Pilcrow and the letterpress, I loathe this tag. I think they thought they were being clever by writing Pilcrow and the letterpress and then using stitches to like block out the letterpress. Now they just put Pilcrow you find a newer piece and I think that that's smart. These are wide leg white linen pants. Okay, so I'll put anthropology in my title. I think these are a two, which is kind of small and it'll say on the interior tag imported for anthropology. That's how you know the piece was actually um, carried there and it has the RN number 66170. The RN number can be very helpful. 66170 is Anthropology's RN. I think it's also free people in Urban Outfitters, if I'm right. So if the tag's cut out or you can't read it or something, like those crazy anthro tags, there's information on the RN. You can use something called RN Lookup on Google. And if tags cut out, but you know you have a nice piece, you can usually find the name brand of the tag. This is a really good find. This is Lacoste. I don't find it very often, do you? The classic like little alligator. And in the past, this has sold really well for me. These polo shirts. Um, this one is uh, kind of nautical looking. It is a preppy brand. Doesn't it look so preppy? Uh, often I find the short sleeve polo tops. This one's long sleeve and in, in, in excellent condition. So hopefully I can get like 30, 35, although I haven't checked comps on that brand in a while. 
Patagonia. This is a size small. This is their Capoline, which is sort of like Long John's um, thermal underwear sort of thing. This is a small. I wonder if this is a kid's. Could it be? A, I guess it could be a women's small base layer. I see some staining on that that I missed, so I'm going to put that in the stain treat pile. This is so cool, this find. Um, I've seen many other resellers find this brand in their hauls. I've only found it like once here. What you find has something to do with the knowledge you have. Like you have to know the brand in order to find the brand. Otherwise you'll just pass it by. But a lot of it is location. I'm here in Sonoma County, California. There's certain boho styles I find all the time that you guys say you don't. Uh, certain brands that I just don't find here. But you guys seem to all find this brand, J. McLaughlin. But this is new with tags and an XL. So super great brand, super great size, and new with tag. However, this is like a shift dress or a shirt dress. What's really popular with this brand is their Catalina cloth. It feels like a spandexy, silky sort of knit. So I don't know how something like this will do in the brand because it's not that Catalina cloth, but hopefully because it's a good brand, uh, that'll still do okay. Check out the color on this baby. Whoa, 80s, 90s vibes. <laughs> this is a little strapless pleated dress. It's by the brand Theory. Theory is one of these brands that is extremely expensive retail. Um, for me, it has sold on eBay and Poshmark. It is not usually a quick seller. It's kind of a sit around seller, but it's so expensive at the bins. I'm going to pick it up, but I wouldn't want to pay too much. Okay. One of my absolute fa favorite items of the day is coming up in a second here. This is Love Stitch, sold at Nordstrom. They make a lot of boho -y, crochet, embroidered lace, peasant top sort of things. This is a size small and it's a sweater. Has a drapey neckline and then the fringe. So it's like a wrap front sweater and then it's got fringe. I don't know. I think someone wants that. Look at this, I can't wait to look this up. Another free people, size small. What? hoodie, zip hoodie, but with this crazy trim. So this is what I would call a substantial piece. What do you mean by that? Well, I found a free people t-shirt at the bins today. That'll be coming up in the hall later. That's an insubstantial piece. It's a t-shirt. I'll probably get 14 bucks for it, but this is a heavier weight um, item, a better item that I hope will be worth a lot more. It's more like a jacket, I would say. It's a small, but it's oversized. I love that. I'm so grateful to find that. One bins back down. If you're new here, be sure you've taken a moment to give the video a thumbs up and that you've subscribed. I do a lot of bins haul videos. I do a lot of reseller content and I wouldn't want you to miss out. Join our community. There's amazing people here in the chats. I love and appreciate all my friends in the chat. So be sure you're subscribed. I picked this up. Halloween is next week. I don't know, you just can't go wrong with a witch hat. <laughs> this is a dress brand, Eliza J. It's a pretty good brand. And this is a size 10, Eliza J, size 10. And I got this also because it's an all over sequined. So this is a real formal, semi-formal party dress, kind of a faux wrap front, meaning it's sewed closed. It's a sheath dress. So I think someone might like that for a party or event. This is a new to me brand. Uh, these look like nothing, right? It's like, oh, what's with, what's, they're just little cargo shorts. But the tag looked interesting. It says, ply the waters, guide boat co, cut and sewn in America. So I'm like, that's interesting. I looked it up. This is a very good brand. I have not found it, have you guys? I love learning new brands. These are shorts, so I don't know exactly what I can get for them, but the comps on this brand were in the $30, $40 range. This is Lululemon Girls. Aviva, I think is how you say it. So these are a girls 10. You just have to know when you see this tag that this is Lululemon's kid line for girls. I think these are the dance studio pants. The women's dance studio pants are a bolo with Lululemon. 
I have sold every pair I've ever found for 40 or $45 and fast, fast, fast. So usually they're black or something, but these to me, these are the dance studio pants, but kids. And these are like in such good shape. I checked the hems. These are excellent. So some little mama's gonna be happy. This is funny. <laughs> I don't know what these are, but one of the women gave them to me at the bins and I thought, they know me. <laughs> Denim, they aren't branded or anything, but they have a huge flare and they're embroidered. Looks exactly like what I have on right now. So these are going in the Quemby pile. This is me doing vintage and I think I did pretty good. <laughs> Check out this, it's gotta be 80s, right? Hello, look at that graphic. Yeah, kind of a faded sweatshirt. Now, I love learning about stuff, especially vintage. Uh, see this tag? That's an older Hanes tag. So what I do is I go on Google and I look for some helpful, nice person who has compiled all the Hanes tags by year. So it'll say, oh, they use this particular tag in from 1980 to 1991. So then I can put in my title, Vintage Hanes 1990, Mac Tools Racing 80s Graphic Sweatshirt. This has got some paint on it. I didn't even care because people who like those things will wear it regardless. Okay, you guys know I love my linens and pillow shams, but first, how good does this Free People Movement sweatshirt look on me with this hip pack? Is this a good look? No. This girl asked me, because it's got all the like distressing in the raw hems, this little girl out front's like, is your sweatshirt on inside out? <laughs> I was like, no, you pay more for that, to look like that. So this looks like a really good brand to keep your eye out for. Doco Phil, made in Portugal, that's what made me pick these up. Two very heavy weight um, white pillow shams, which means I should look these over. They're large pillow shams. Like, who has a pillow that large? But um, they just feel like really good quality. So, I think I'll get those. White is so hard. to oh, look. I just saw this. Hmm. All right, I'm going to look them over more carefully. And I'm pulling something out here that looks like it has paint on it. Oh, but that's okay. This is a vintage. Look at this old Hanes tag. So I have a, I have a chart of all the old tags. Um, so I'll, I can date that. But look at this. Mac Tools Racing Super Faded. Um, good old vintage sweatshirt. That's awesome. Look at that. That's got to be 80s, you guys, from that graphic, right? Okay, I just love Ben's culture. Look at these. These are uh, super bell bottom all embroidered. They look like what I have on right now, except mine aren't embroidered. Some woman just brought these over to me. Um, that's awesome. Those are so cool. Hope those fit me. Um, she didn't speak English, but I always see her here and say hi. That's awesome. I must have a reputation of being like totally boho. Boho girl. This is Chaser. Used to be a really good brand. It's okay now, but this is a slip style skirt and that's really on trend, so I'm gonna get that. Okay, I'm hoping I can show you. This is one of my first finds and I'm obsessed with it. It's free people. It's a hooded sweatshirt. Look at that hem. Like if you're gonna wear a sweatshirt, why not wear this? Here's the tag in case you're not all familiar. Little free people bar tag. That is so, so good. Do I have mascara all under my eyes? Maybe. That is an amazing plan. This is all the stuff I'm taking, you guys. It's, it's a really solid bins day. All right, this is my, oh, that's too bad, what a shame, find of the day. I love selling, selling Everlane, but if you can find Everlane cashmere sweaters, I've sold every one I've ever found for more than $40 and right away. But this is like, look at all these little holes. You have to check cashmere so well, but I was so psyched when I found that because it's just such a quick 40, 40 bucks. But this one's beyond. Some of you guys do like cashmere crafters lots, but I've never done that. So what a shame. This is also the brand Love Stitch that I just showed you the tag of. And this is a romper, a crinkle fabric, heavily embroidered romper. See how it goes to shorts? That's a romper. 
I'm next gonna show you a jumpsuit, which means it goes all the way down into legs. That's right, into legs. <laughs> this I looked up because I'm like, this isn't my sort of thing, but it's somebody's. So there's the brand Natural Life. I'm like, okay, but this is a full jumper, very loose, baggy with pockets. The stock photo of this that I saw on someone's listing looks really good. This is a large, super oversized, super comfy. Uh, I would just look like a paper bag in that, but somebody is gonna rock it. I bought this Harry Potter thing to see if my son wants to sell it. My son's 12 and I've tried to get him into reselling and he's done little bits of it with my help at times and some of the things he's made money on are these Harry Potter uh, sweaters and shirts and stuff. So I pick him up and I'll ask him, Torvald, do you want to sell this shirt? So I'll have him help me with the listing and when it sells, have him help me with the shipping so he's learning. His entrepreneurial skills, this is free people but this is a different tag. We the free is just a line of free people. Size small, this is one of their waffle thermal knits. Great keywords because thermal knit has been very popular. This has sort of a marionette look almost to it. Is that the word? No, maybe I'm thinking of majorette. Like someone in a band, marching band or something. So that's cute. This, this is a brand that is extremely expensive, retail. I know a lot of other people buy it. I have not had a lot of luck myself selling it. It's Lafayette 148. But I'm thinking this is a gorgeous, more modern piece. It's a blazer in this great uh, turquoise color. And the fabric on it feels a little bit silky. So I'm gonna give it another try. Lafayette 148, I'm gonna try you again. It's a size two. It's got zipper pockets. This looks like a very recent piece from the brand. So let's give her another try and see how we can do with it. It's very expensive. This blazer I got because it's wool and it's a great style. This is Ann Taylor Loft. I don't pick up a lot of it unless it's for a certain style of the piece, but this is a wool blazer and it's got this blue kind of like velvet trim and a really nice button. See that button on there? That's such a classic and wool for the upcoming season is going to be good. I've been selling these belts. This one doesn't even have a brand. It's got some markings on it. Maybe I'll be able to figure it out. I think this is a genuine brass buckle and then it's just like a boho leather belt. So I will just say like, well, first I'll figure out if it's men's or women's. It says 38, which makes me think it might be men's. But either way, let's say I'm marketing it to women. I don't know why I'm trying it on. Maybe to see if it's a 38. I don't know. Usually what I'll say is women's vintage bohemian belt. Genuine brown leather, a brass oval belt buckle, that kind of stuff. And I measure it. I take the width and the length. And I've sold a lot of those. One of my favorite bread and butter brands, J. Jill. It's a medium. I wish it was larger, but this is a cool style. An open knit in this uh, kind of neon yellow green. Nice. That's nice. These are some Levi's. And they are the 724 High Rise Straight. So there's a few things going on with these. They're a more modern pair of Levi's. They have the exposed button fly. They're in a very cool rust color and they're not skinny, they're straight. Corduroys have been popular in 2023, so hoping that can help me. Here's probably one of the best items in the haul. And I can't quite figure out how it goes yet, but I'll show you this tag so you can go, wow, wow. I wish I found this brand more often. Reformation, it's sold on the website Revolve. Revolve is a great website if you want to look at like what's trending with young to middle-ish age women. They carry a lot of brands and styles on the site Revolve. This is a wrap dress. It's purple. I think it's silk. It's a true wrap maxi dress. So the belt will go all the way around. 
it's in an eggplant color. It's lined partially, so it probably looks so good because your, your lower leg will show. Um, oh, it's viscose. I would have bet money on it being silk, so I got to get this baby steamed up, put on my mannequin. It's going to be gorgeous. This is a really, really good find. Keep your eye out for that brand. For my little baby nephew, it's going in a box out to him this week. Here's a linen hooded sweater by Zenergy Chicos. Oh, here comes Petey. Oh, someone cut the size out. Hi, Petey. Hello. I'm making a little bit of a mess. I just wanted to do this video so that I have stuff to process. Oh, hi, Petey. Are you mad at me for making an enormous mess in the living room? No. Well, I was afraid you're going to come home and say, oh, look at this mess she made. No. It's usually gone within a day. A day? That's what he walks into. Hi, babe, I'm home. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nice pile. $118, including the suitcase. Pretty amazing. All right, you might think this was weird, but I was actually considering this item because it's that faux leather. And right now when I'm filming this, fall, winter, 2023, it's, um, Leather is super on trend. Leather skirts, leather everything. Jackets, blazers. But this is faux leather and it's got some like issues. So I am going to put that back. But I would pick that up just because of trend. Um, this has that Ed Hardy print. Super Y2K. But I don't think it's Ed Hardy. And technically on eBay, you're not supposed to put things like similar to Ed Hardy or whatever they call that keyword spamming. So I'm going to put that back, but if you do find this classic Ed, Ed Hardy stuff with this print, um, that can be worth, worth some money. Ooh, some little Oshkosh. I'm sending my baby nephew a box of clothes from his auntie. He's all the way far away from me, which is so sad. Here's that reformation. Oh my gosh. I need both hands for this. All right, so everyone's starting to line up because they just called it. They're going to do another rotation. Every 30 minutes they do it. And um, everyone has to get out of the way. They wheel out the bins, and then they uh, wheel out a fresh one. So got to get in line for that. All right, I pull my car around to go pick up my cart. I want to show you what you can get for $118. So I got all this whole cart full, including my little suitcase. A Samsonite Rolly. I bought myself one of these not too long ago and they're expensive. And the Lily Puller sheets, two bucks. So I just gotta now get all this to the car. It just still blows my mind what you can get for $118 at the bins, even though my bins is like twice as much as yours at $349 a pound. I still get really good deals. So grateful. This is such an interesting item, you guys. I picked this up because I just, it looked vintage and I like the print and it feels really amazing. Turns out, it's Christian Dior. Vintage Christian Dior. I can't get that tag to go quite right, but you guys get the point, right? So, that's definitely a pickup. Uh, I hate when the tag is like hanging like that, so I take, I either put a stitch in there or I take a little bit of hot glue and just glue it into place. Zenergy is by Chico's, and this is a linen full zip white and kind of a really pretty shade of orange full zip sweater. This is a really great find. I mean, I should do some research before I go around saying that, but it's vintage Christian Dior, which is a designer. The tag is all messed up. I was saying in one of my recent videos that I steam the tag down when I do my steaming. This is a gorgeous little night dress, kind of an Asian inspired floral print. I think those are poppies, just really pretty. And I don't know what these are called. I'll Google them. Uh, are they called frogs? These kind of, they're on a lot of Asian clothing. I think it might be called a frog button or something, but that's good. This is the brand Fresh Produce. And it is a skirt. It's an extra small. Bummer. I wish it was bigger. 
fresh produce. They make a lot of just cotton stuff that looks, usually it has like a beachy theme to it. What's on there? I can see it on the camera. Has to go in the wash. Nice feeling midi skirt. This is the brand Cabby, which is a catalog brand. It's kind of expensive women's brand. I don't pick it up all that often, but I got this because it's a, a red wool jacket with a cute lining, right? Like a pop-off color, just like a classic peacoat sign sort of thing. I've been listing my jackets on the lower uh, price of the market because I want to get them out of there. I don't want to have to store this big jacket for very long at all. So I kind of look at what they're going for and I price it a little less to get it out of here because I just have my storage. What's you guys' situation? What's your work situation? Do you have a room in your house just for reselling or your thrifted stuff? Do you have a garage like Quemby? Do you rent a storage unit? Um, I, I have 2000 items listed at this point and I'm running out of space. So I can't be storing big jackets. This is Chaser. And it looks like it's new without tags because it still has the price tag pull. This is an animal print uh, midi or maxi skirt. It's smocked with elastic all at the uh, waist there. And I'm gonna use the keyword slip skirt because those have been quite popular, slip dresses and slip skirts. We did it, another big Ikea bag. This is probably my best find of the day just in terms of, well, I don't know, between this and the Re Reformation dress, we'll have to see. This is a sheet set that's Lily Pulitzer. So I found these in different spots too. Here's a tip for you bin shoppers if you're new. A little tip, if you're at the bins and you find something like one shoe or one pillowcase and you know it's good and you want it, I put it in my cart because I cannot tell you how many times I have found the other one in a completely different bin rotation or on the other side of the room. So I just say, let me put it in my cart. So I found this and was like, that looks like Lily Pulitzer, but that'd be weird because I never find Lily Pulitzer. That's me exaggerating. I did find one pair of Lily Pulitzer pants this year at the bins. Before that, it's been an extremely long time. It's just not in my area. So that gave it away. I think this might say Lily Pulitzer for Pottery Barn teens. So the comps on these, I mean, new is like $150. Pre-owned, some of them were going around 100. And then I have this, which is the duvet cover. I thought it was a sheet, but now that I look at it, I can see the buttons here. So this is a duvet cover. Oh my God, isn't that great? I mean, it's white and I don't see any issues. I'll look it over really well, but that is a major score. The duvet with the matching pillowcases, fantastic. I found this at the end, which is Laura, vintage Laura Ashley. Here's the tag. It's the made in the USA. I wish I had had the time to look to see if there were any mates for this, but I love selling pillow shams, duvets, sheets, anything like that. No one else seems interested in it. These are the brand Vince, V-I-N-C-E period, not Vince Camuto, not Vince anything else. It's a very expensive, brand carried at stores like Nordstrom, Saks. The resale on it has not been as good as I wish. Like it used to be really good. These are a size 28, 100% cotton. Just a khaki chino short and a men's 28. At the same time, there was a whole short spin, but it was the last rotation and I needed to get out of there. These are REI, they're women's size 12. Camping, hiking, outdoor shorts. I'll put all those words in my title and description and item specifics. This scarf has that kind of fuzzy feeling and I'm like, wow, that feels nice. And I saw this little thing and it says chupaca.com. Like, okay, what's that? And then on the back of this tag, it says 80% alpaca, handmade in Ecuador. So that's a pretty, that's a pretty scarf. It feels really nice and soft. These are elastic waist, wide leg, ivory linen pants. So I get to use all my favorite keywords, lag and look, boho, minimalist. 
Uh, and it's by Units, which I do not know, but they looked good enough and light enough that I figure I'll do the research when I get home. If the brand isn't anything that amazing, I'll just sell it on keywords. That's why those keywords are so important. And when I do my hauls, I try and throw all these words at you because it's the best chance of you having a buyer find your items on a site like eBay is what keywords people are searching for. These are bar three, they're a medium, and they're what I'd call a ponte knit, P-O-N-T-E, which is a thick, stretchy knit. These are pull on, but they're flare, which is now really popular again, and they have a zipper. So that seemed like a good style with that flare leg. I'm glad flare leg is back. What about you guys? I still have skinny pants and jeans that I wear sometimes. Here's me getting a little bit more vintage. This is vintage <laughs> Pierre Cardin, oh my God. Men's large. It has all these strings I need to cut off, but vintage Pierre Cardin. <laughs> It'll be really fun me researching this by the tag to see what year. OMG, look at this sweatshirt. It has like terry cloth shoulders and pockets and i think there's a pretty good oh that must be the pierre cardin logo omg <laughs> that's so bad it's good right here is what i was referring to earlier which is a free people t-shirt a nice pink camo t-shirt and the tag says we the free size medium i still just listed as free people Free People, Women's Medium, T-shirt, Camo, Camouflage, whatever the material is I'll put in there, Boho, and get that thing sold. Open Edit. This is a brand that's new to me. Their sweaters seem to sell around $20, $25 plus shipping, and this is a pink scoop neck, round neck, sweater kind of that barbie pink or barbie core i could put in my title feels very soft but it's acrylic nylon and spandex we're getting down to it i appreciate you so much for being here thank you so much this is such a classic type of top a loose fit linen top but it has the color of like chambray so i'll put that in there white stripe and the brand is lord and taylor and it's a size large i love these tops so beachy so comfy someone's gonna love it this is also a new brand to me i brought these for style but the brand is the drop the drop these are linen shorts and they have again that paper bag waist see how it goes in and then out again like you're cinching a paper bag nice length on these we're getting down to it. I'm surprised my camera hasn't cut me off yet. This is Velvet by Graham and Spencer. I thought they just made women's, but they make men's. And they have a really nice website. This brand sometimes has been carried at Anthropology. This is got a Swiss dot. You see how it's got like that raised kind of little embroidery dots? It's called Swiss dot. It has a peplum hem. Look at that nice ruffle, nice lightweight top on that one. This is one of my best finds of the day. It's a linen tank, kind of a beige color, and it's got this subtle, very small beading in the front. It's Eileen Fisher and it's an XL. Eileen Fisher XL and plus size does absolutely amazing. It is such an expensive brand. They make good staple pieces, high quality. And uh, this one I think is gotta be 100% linen. I'm looking at the tag, 100% organic linen. So that's definitely going in my title. That just feels so, so good. And another linen piece to end us off is a women's jacket. It's by Gap and it's an XXL. And it's a linen side zip. I guess this is sort of a moto style, but it's an olive green linen. So I think someone will want that. You are the best to stay here with me through this whole video. I appreciate you so very much. Let's chat in the comments, and I'll see you next time, friends. Bye!
Okay, let's get this video done before Petey comes home walking through the door and says, what's this big mess? <laughs> he never says anything. Okay, this looks like it's down a bit. Oh, don't let it go down. Bad. Down is bad. Still looks like it's pointed a little down. But it's like this part is down. Don't exactly know if I can move that, can I? Oh well. These I have to do, oh no, these aren't the ones. There's another ones. These aren't the ones, there's another ones. <laughs> Ugh, awkward reach. <laughs> Let's take a water sip, shall we? There's a lot more good stuff to come. Did I just bring all these bags in from the car and spill my water down the stairs as I did so? Yes, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> more water, more water. Um, what does that say though? Exclusively for PB some organic okay let me start over let's let's just have a redo i was gonna wear it like a lily pulitzer dress <laughs> camping hiking whoopsie camping hello where's the youtube to police to come along and say that quality of video is not not gonna cut it